welcome, dear listener. So th- this is kind of impromptu and not really put together. I just wanted to play some Mind Maze and have some fun with Encarta because I have fond memories of using Encarta and I set up a VM for Windows 95 recently. So I have all the software in place and running and I just thought this would be fun to share. So welcome aboard. Um, For those not familiar, my name's Sean and I host the Advent of Computing podcast. Usually my stuff's more historically based. I like to pride myself on being rigorous with my research, but like I was saying, I just want to play some Encarta. So without further further ado, rather, I'm going to fire it up. Um, For those of you who aren't familiar, the opening screen for Encarta, this is Encarta 96, is fantastic. Ta-da. So, Encarta was Microsoft's old, well, I guess I it isn't right to say Microsoft's old. It was a digital encyclopedia that Microsoft produced and sold for a while for Windows. Um, of course, Microsoft now does not have a digital encyclopedia because things like Wikipedia exist. So, kind of not something that's viable as a product anymore when there's free alternatives. Um, Excuse me. But when I was a relatively young kid, my mom had a very fancy work computer. Fancy for the time was a Pentium. Um, I barely got to touch it, but it was a gateway computer and gateway OEM builds bundled a copy of Encarta along with Office, Outlook, a bunch of other stuff. So I remember when I did get to use that computer or get near it, it was always so I could play with Encarta, which has kind of formed a lot of fun childhood memories for me. And then later on in life, once I was able to get a hold of a computer, in, it was still a little bit before um, the internet really reached out where we lived when I was a kid. We had dial-up and that, you know, that doesn't really work for browsing the net at my leisure. So I spent a lot of time on Encarta because it was what we had access to. I remember writing a lot of reports in, like, middle school using this stuff. Um, But Encarta is also just kind of neat software. It's a lot more than just an encyclopedia. So, you know, like with Wikipedia, you can search. It's, of course, done with hypertext, and it's very convenient to use. It even shows up in Google. Encarta's kind of, eh, it's kind of approaching that. The, the interface is hypertext, but it's not like HTML and JavaScript hypertext like we use in the future world. It's... It's kind of a mess. I've I've read a little bit about the underlying technology behind it, and by a little bit I mean Wikipedia level, because I this isn't really something I'd normally cover on the show, so I wouldn't I don't want to spend a whole lot of time going super in depth into the research for it. But it's some custom Microsoft implementation of hypertext. It was apparently used in other Microsoft projects. Like I know there's Microsoft Books um, or like I'd be willing to bet things like Microsoft Wine Guide probably use this too. But so it it looks roughly like hypertext. There's a nice little search bar with different categories that you can drill down through. So it it's very much a hypertext-like interface. I'm really curious what it has to say about AUX. And that's almost nothing. AUX in computer science, a version 
of the multi-user, multitasking Unix operating system. Um, but yeah, there's links. You can go down links. It's like I was saying, it's basically a hypertext implementation, just not the hypertext that we'd be used to. There's other fun thing is the different categories have slightly different backgrounds. Um, the other thing I know is this is heavily database um, based. That's awful phrasing, but the backends from what I've been able to read, just a big database with hypertext files and some media. Um, but like it, it functions, it stores stuff. What I remember really liking were the animations and videos and here it is. So this is why I was talking about when I said that Encarta is more than just hypertext. And it's more than just an encyclopedia. It has little interactable things. So like this one is just a little video clip. But if I go back to the top, I think they have activities built in also. Yeah. So this is one that I remember using a lot. So it has fun little like interactable stuff so far, just kind of like hypertext. Nothing that exciting, just kind of a cool interactive experience. But this is the part that I remember using a whole lot as a kid. So it has these interactive demos. Um, the Orbits one was really fun for me. Um, so you can set a number of different orbits that it'll go on just to be like, ooh, this is a little elliptical. This is the crash course, which of course was always my favorite orbit, but you can also explore, which lets you set up your own orbits. So you get to pick the start parameters of, you know, where it starts orbiting and then where the force arrow is. And it, you can have it show the type of orbit that it predicts, or you can just be like, no, nah, I don't want to see the orbit. I just, I just want to watch it go off into space. I, this is a nostalgia trip. I hadn't found this before when I was just briefly getting this set up. And I remember spending a whole lot of time with this part of the system. Man, that's that's really fun, actually. <laughs> anyway, so like that's kind of an idea of what it has beyond just a normal um, encyclopedia. It also has Oh yeah, I, I remember never understanding this very much, but this is kind of the time filtering tool for it. You know, like I was saying, there's a database in play. So this lets you kind of filter through articles based off time period. I, I always remember that that was less interesting than just looking up stuff. I think I can just reset that. All right, so. What other animations are there in here? Like we also saw before, there's videos. There's quite a bit of just little extra content spliced in throughout. But this is just the encyclopedia part. If we go back home, then there's a whole lot more that's just easily accessible. So the look and listen, that was, this is just a different way of looking through the media clips that it has. I remember hearing this a whole lot. Um, the other thing is all of these, the media files are just accessible on the file system. So I remember for a while when I needed test files for audio, I just had these around so that oud music was always something that was playing when I least expected it. The experiments, these are the activities that I was talking about earlier. 
um, like the Orbit one, but there's there's a number of them. I think, yeah, this is a quiz, if I remember right. So yeah, how this is starting to get into the game parts of Encarta, which is something that from ever since I was a young child fascinated me. Um, there's something charming about them because they're, it, it's clear that these aren't meant to be very fun, fast paced, exciting games. They're kind of just extras or they feel very much like extras that were just thrown in. So like this one, can you find this natural wonder on the map? And it's just this very low res bitmap of some kind of coast. Maybe it's an island. Hey, I was right. It's the Galapagos Islands. And then it gives you another one, which I have no idea. Maybe it's Norway. Hey, I was right. So like every time you get something right, I think that's the Great Plains. No. What is it? Is that in Russia? No. Oh man, I have no idea where that is. What is it? I think I've, oh, 18th times the charm. So yeah, it has, you know, just kind of ham-fisted educational content, has an entry or just a small listing from the entry on Tanzania or part of Tanzania, one of the parks. So, you know, just fun little interactive games. I remember this one. This is another great example. Let's see. Oh man, this is, I remember this one now. This one's difficult or it was always difficult for me. So it's a card matching game and it has a few different modes. The one that I just clicked on is where you're supposed to do like a card memory game, but match a painting to another part of a painting. But I don't know. It, it feels like this isn't that educational. It's more of a just slightly abstracted card memory game. Oh, wait, that one, no, was around there? Yes. And yeah, it's just like the um, geography game I was showing before where once you match something, it gives you just a little bit of information about it. So it's not like even necessarily that educational. It's just kind of like, oh, hey, I could learn more if... I wanted to, which, you know, as a, a child, I more just wanted to play the fun matching games. The fractal one, I remember liking this too. So this is like the orbits where it has these like kind of interactive things that you just are like, oh, cool. Can click the buttons and zoom in. Um, I think this is literally just another view of fractals. So you know, almost fun, more just showing off the engine than actually fun or educational, I think. This is the same thing where it's just like, yeah, fractals also show up in trees and ferns. But this is, this is the actual fully interactive part, which I always, I remember spending a lot of time in this. Um, you can adjust how many times it breaks off and how thick everything is. And I remember, yeah, you can change the randomness. There was something, here it is. So you can add new branches to the tree fractal. And I remember th this isn't necessarily a very fast algorithm. So... <laughs> It's just fun. I remember doing this a lot and just watching the computer try to chug and draw stuff. But, oh no, there it is. <laughs> anyway, 
so there's some other examples. The world music one is also fun. That's like a sound matching thing with the oud music, the all important oud music. But that's not exciting. That's not exciting. What is exciting is Mind Maze. This is probably where I spent the most time when I was in Encarta ever. So if you're not in the know, which most people probably aren't, Mind Maze is a trivia slash maze game bundled in Encarta. So, you know, it's another one of these things that you might think is just a little extra thrown in, like the orbit simulations or the little fractal thing. Um, but I I have no idea if this was just made as like a fun last minute thing or if it was a full on like planned project because Mind Maze is really complicated. Um, there's trivia questions. But the overarching idea is, so you can see from the mini map over here, here actually, let me see if I can make this part of the screen bigger in OBS. There we go. That's more reasonable. Huzzah, mind maze. Um, now, as you can see in this little part in the corner is a mini map. And the goal, you're where the dot is, and you can burn these torches to see the full map, and you're trying to make it to the exit of this level. Um, along the way, every time you go through a new room, you have to answer a riddle, or really a trivia question. The idea being that it, it's educational because you gotta learn how to answer questions. Um, so, let's just go into, here's the first one. Study of relationships among quantities, magnitudes, and properties and of logical operations by which unknown quantities, magnitudes, and properties must be deduced. That's mathematics. Yeah. So you get points based off how quickly you answer the question. Um, the points add to progress. And from what I understand, when you get to the full progress value, you win the game. As you go through levels and progress the game, you also get medals. Um, the other fun thing is, even though this looks whimsical, and you can talk to most of the NPCs, well, talk, they, they say little fun dialogues like, do you like my attendance? Um, but most of these picture frames, if you click on them and click OK, it will... Oh, and of course, now I have it messed up so you can't see that. But it'll bring up, oh man, there we go. I'm back. Um, these will link out to articles on what the picture frame shows. Like that one goes to physical science. Um, the hazards of zooming in inside software. So then as we progress, let's see. Oh, I should actually look at the map. I need to go up and then eventually go down. Okay. So, through the next door. System of written symbols that represent musical sounds. That is musical notation for 61 points. So yeah, we're at another room with more information about sports games and hobbies. Oh, thank goodness. Um, so there's also this weird overarching story in mind maze about this cursed castle that you're trying to somehow uncurse by playing fun trivia it's all all very campy and kind of delightful but let's continue basic is not a dialect of english a hey, another 60 points Sadly, the chests don't have anything in them. All right, next door. International movement dedicated to the development of characters of boys and youth. Is that Boy Scouts? Nice. Um, 
There are multiple levels to the questions. I don't do well beyond level one, and there's also sports questions eventually, and I am not good at the history of sports. Methods for dating age of rocks and minerals. Oh no. It's just, it's just dating methods. Oh man. <laughs> Might not be the most well-written questions. Okay, so here, I need to go that way. Publications released at regular intervals, often called journals or referred to as magazines. Periodicals, that's a thesaurus question. The other, the other fun thing about Mind Maze is these rooms aren't necessarily turned so that you're facing any reasonable direction on the mini map. Um, in earlier versions of Mind Maze, so this is the Encarta 96 version, which is the second version of Mind Maze, but in the version in Encarta 95, I played a little bit of that and it seems like you just kind of move randomly through the map. Um, so this is a slightly more refined version. All right. In Christian theology, doctrine that God exists as three person. That's, that's the Trinity. It's not the triangle. I like that. The, there's some level of auto generation that I haven't quite figured out in these rooms. I, I think it's just a set of random rooms and then a set of random picture frames and items that get plopped together, but I'm not entirely sure. Lively couples dance. Folk dance in Bohemia. Polka? All right. Regular lines drawn on the map of the Pacific Ocean. A regular... No, is it? Oh, the dateline. All right. Um, where do I need to go? That and then up. All right. So just go through here and then straight up. Form a physical exercise. Oh, that's. All right, gymnastics. All right. Then I just need to basically keep going up at the forks. Style of United States popular music rooted in Southern traditional music and influenced by other popular music styles. Country Western? Not Byzantine at all. So yeah, this is what I meant by I think these are randomly generated because we just had Sword Dude in this room. Okay, so then the location in the room of the people must not be randomly generated, just the person in the room greetings fellow traveler i see by your face that you are confused <laughs> well i am frightened by this curse what on earth is that supposed to be social science that's a very abstract painting for that all right next question american aviator known for their flight across the pacific and atlantic Oh, Earhart. 59 points. So then, I'm, that the table also has to be an overlay that they randomly apply. I, I, okay, just keep going up. I knew that. I wasted a torch. Oh, well. Waterfall tank, usually with glass sides. That's an aquarium. Boom. Then through here, machine for moving heavy objects, both vertically and horizontally. Crane. I think next level I'm gonna to go to level two. Two American brothers who worked closely together in the early development of aeronautics. Right. It'd be weird if it's two brothers that had different names. Okay, the use of the human voice to produce music singing and chant and yodel that very poor answers to that question the industry and area of commerce in which automobiles are planned designed and manufactured and marketed 
Yeah, I'm going to level two once I get to the end of this floor. Related card games played by four people. Bridge? All right. Object or right that can be owned. Property. And I've made it to the end. Click on the stairs to continue your quest. All right. Let's kick it up to level two. If I remember right, the difficulty of questions goes up pretty quickly once you go to the next level. But let, let's find out. Oh man, city, seat of Lucas County, northwestern Ohio, and port on the Maumee River. Oh man, um, Battle Creek? No. Which of those cities is in Ohio? Toledo? Hey. Oh yeah, that's the other thing, is one, I should have known Toledo, Ohio, because I watch a lot of MASH and clingers from toledo ohio um and also as you increase the level of question you get more points towards your progress meter all right american professional baseball player who retired in 1993 majority of league records and most strikeouts oh no um i know nothing about sports run gym no nolan all right, Ryan Nolan apparently has a good baseball record, I guess. All right, onward. So you think this was the king? Is this the king? Maybe? You look like a professional. I suppose you'll be wanting to be paid. Nice. All right, onward. Huzzah! Lively folk dance. A step dance in which one or two soloists perform rapid, intricate hopping. Um. Jig? Nice. Alright. Okay, um. I go straight. Okay, this looks like just a kind of twisty, weird map, but. Ceremonies that mark a person's progress from one role, phase of life, or social status to another. A rite of passage. That's very generic, but all right. I just forgot where the map's going. Oh, yeah, it's just going straight. I even said that. All right. American rock and roll singer, songwriter, and guitarist whose career was cut short by a plane crash. Oh, no. Dennis Ritchie, yeah. No, not Dennis Ritchie. Why Why did I think that? Well, that was the right answer anyway. Dennis Ritchie isn't a famous American guitarist. In physics, intrinsic angular momentum of scimitar... Oh, that's spin. Boom. Easy peasy. Yeah, the, it's the double jack-in-the-box man again. Good, good work, RNG. I think there's only like a dozen NPCs or cut out humans that appear in this game. But, you know, it's inside an encyclopedia, so I can't really complain. Short hair cat. Persian? No. Burmese? I thought that was a type of dog. All right, well, I'll I'll remember that. I, I probably won't. Okay. Former federative nation in Central Europe, once bounded to the north by Germany and Poland, east by Ukraine, south by Hungary and Austria. I don't think it's West Germany. Oh, no, it is West Germany. What? It ceased to exist in 1993. Oh, because it changed to the Czech Republic. Well, huzzah. <laughs> Any of several mixed breeds of working and hunting dogs of North America, particularly Labrador and Greenland. Hmm. 
No. Is it Eskimo dog? Huh. I wonder if that's one of those antiquated terms. Okay. Yeah, this is a pretty simple math. Oh, I think this is the first time we've seen the the sorcerer here. Rodent's blood and tooth of toothy. <laughs> oh man. There, there's something just charming about this game that I love. Statewide system of higher learning. University of Anchorage. Oh, University of Alaska. I know that one. I've seen emails from them at my old job. All right. Fired earthenware of gray, buff, or reddish color. Terracotta. Volunteer organization dedicated to restoring control of city streets and subway to law-abiding citizens. What? Okay. I don't know what that organization is, but apparently it's dedicated to returning the streets to law-abiding citizens. This is the exact same RNG items. All right, so then we do know about furniture now it's also just a png overlay or some kind of transparent overlay that's funny american business executive and sports enthusiast one of the most influential television executives of the late 20th century ted turner i know that name and it was right thank goodness because i don't know any of those other names an assisted reproductive technology in which one or more eggs that's in vitro definitely not dialysis north imaginary belt in the celestial sphere that's the horizon no a degree to the tide of the elliptic oh please tell me it's not the zodiac oh why that that's such a awkward way to define that all right onward suicide squadrons organized by the japanese air force yeah that's kamikaze points okay then here i go north i remember branch of medicine concerning pregnancy labor and the period that's obstetrics Yeah, being level two, I'm racking up a lot more points. But some of these questions I'm not very good at. Band of Heroes. That's the Argonauts, right? Yeah. The local system in which the people of a country rule. Democracy? Oh no, there's a fork. I go this way. Breed of working dog. Mm. All right. Those other ones, I guess, weren't European. So that makes sense. Field of scientific research concerned with the effects of behavior on physical health and illness. It really just behavioral medicine. Well, maybe I can do level three. Maybe it's not that daunting. Name traditionally assigned to the author of the Iliad, Homer. I'm going to try level three on the next floor. Kick it up a notch. All right. Track and field athlete. Oh, man. Um, I know none of these names. Apparently, it was Carl Lewis. Castrated human male. Eunuch. That one's, yeah, I think level three is in my future. Amorphous substance, substance silicon fused at high temperature with borate. What? Glass? All right. All right. I'll take that. That works. Onward. Yes, yeah, so I... I don't know how it determines awards, but 
I earned an award, so I get a little ribbon. On to level three. I could just put this all on physical sciences and just blaze through this. Because I do have expertise in the physical sciences, but let's continue. City in southwest Georgia, see... Uh, what? Ah, uh, Montgomery, Rayleigh, Albany, Augusta. Augusta's in Georgia. Let's go with that. Is Augusta in Georgia? Montgomery? Albany? There's an Albany in Georgia? Well, I'm learning. Oh, oh no. Um... No, I don't know anything about baseball. Oh, no. Um, Joe Lapchick. No. Cap Anson. Oh, Cap. Like like a baseball cap. I know nothing about sports. That That's the category. The sports, hobbies, and pets that always gets me in this game. But as you can see, this is actually, at least I think, a good deal more educational than like the art tile matching game and the orbit game even even though the orbit game is really fun all right astronomical observatory central california mount hamilton near san jose oh that's lick observatory i've been to lick and i've used data sets from lick it is not easy to get to it's a very sketchy road but the lick observatory if you're ever in san jose and want to visit beautiful it's it's worth the trip and it has really cool views also the dude who established it lick or who paid for it wasn't a scientist he basically built it to spite the city of la or the city of san jose and so he could have a monument to his wealth anyway fun story look it up all right group of islanders of ecuador in the pacific ocean consisting of province Oh man, Islands of Ecuador. Um, I know nothing about geography. Galapagos, those are in Ecuador. All right, I'm, I'm learning. Hydrated silica in a gel state. Mica. Opal? Opal silica? Huh. As you can see, I am learning. Uh, okay, I just stay on, like, the straight and narrow path. All right, let's see if I can remember that. I won't. American tennis champion, greatest woman tennis player in the history of tennis. Oh, no. Hey, I didn't learn anything. <laughs> Public acts or orders enacted by emperors and their predecessors in ancient Rome. It's not the Hippocraticos. The acta? Isn't that just Latin for act? All right. All right that, I'll take the win. Second division of Paleozoic Era. Permian? No. Uh. As you can see, level three, I'm I'm not so good at. British physician and the first athlete in history to run a mile in less than four minutes. How how is someone supposed to know? This isn't just a fun, easy, trivia thing. It may sir oh there's two sirs sir roger all right sir roger was the first person to run a mile in under four minutes that can't be right there have to be fast people all throughout history right officially theater francis uh, ah 
I know nothing about French theater. Oh no. <laughs> Onward. King of Great Britain and Ireland. Oh, that's George the Third. Yes. Who's benefiting from their middle school poli sci classes, right? I guess social studies classes. Hound or sporting dog that hunts by sight, not by scent. Uh, I have no idea. Wolf hound. No, whip it. A whip it's a hunting dog? They're so small and slight of frame. Governor of Virginia, the first black American to be elected. Um, oh no. I know nothing about US history either. Oh well, there's a 25% chance I can just be at level three. Distribution of contrast and light and shade. Just Euro. I know that word, I think. I, I've taken one art class in college. American broadcast journalist regarded as an honest, outspoken newscaster. That That is so generic. Dave, is David Letter? I know, I know some of these names. Phil Donahue, is it that? No, I don't know. Um, John Chancellor, outspoken dude, John. Style of music, composition for solo voice. Libretto, right? No, oh no. Um... Okay, I have never seen that word before. Maybe I'm uncultured. Okay, up. Highest peak in Western Hemisphere. Oh man, is that Sierra Madre? No. I think it's that. All right. I might be going back to level two. In law in the US, the act of of vowing before a proper officer of a court that one has executed a legal instrument. Oh man, I, is it just acknowledgement? Oh man, that was so many words for such a, such a short answer. All right, almost to the next level. Term originally applied to any fortified natural stronghold or citadel in Greece. Acropolis, right? Yes. Click the stairs to continue your quest. Hey, I got a new award. It has to be point based, but that's a very pretty award and I appreciate it. Okay. Gonna get a sip of water before the next step of the adventure. Let's see what the map looks like. Oh, this is a short one. So I have to just go up, over, down. Okay. I learned this. The breed of hound or sporting dog that hunts by sight, not scent, is the whippet, even though they, they look like not hunting or sporting dogs. I have to go this way. American professional baseball player who coined the axiom keep your eye on the ball and hit them where they ain't was born William Henry Keeler in Brooklyn, New York. Earned his name for his small stature. Um. Oh. Oh, it has to be Wee Willie. Yes. I... I used context clues. I, I, I'm smart. All right, down. Appointment of electoral districts. That has to be filibustering. Or not filibustering, gerrymandering. I clicked what I meant. I didn't say what I meant. All right, now I can just go over. Oh, the, this parrot is a joke. Come here, I want to tell you a secret. People think parrots don't understand what they're saying, but that's not true. 
It's just that hello and Polly want a cracker are about the only things most parents most parents think about. However, I am a philosopher. I aspire towards the greater good and true heroism. But I'm not selfish. I'm going to let you answer the riddle. I, I like that. Altruistic parrots abound. In the law of property, any of various charges on specific property... Oh, lean? Yeah. Small cone-shaped projection from the top of the midbrain of most vertebrates. Do I have one of those? It's not gallbladder or serotonin. It has to be pineal body? That's the only brain thing. All right. You know, not to brag, but I did pass the SAT by guessing. So the, the skill set seems broadly applicable. Pseudonym of Nef Neftali Ricardo Reyes y Posalto. Oh, no. Um, I'm just going to guess some stuff. All right, I'm going to forget that immediately. French writers who boisterous satirical work with its emphasis on individual liberty and enthusiasm for knowledge and life. Which of these people is French? I don't think Jonathan Swift is French. Is it the mononym? No. Francois? That does sound French. Oh, easy. Just name a state in West Central Germany bounded on the north and northeast by Lower Saxony and Hesse the Rhine Palatine. Is it Bavaria? It's either Bavaria or Westphalia because those aren't things. Second try. Okay, North. Mathematician and metaphysicist. How can you be a mathematician and metaphysicist? That it's not more, it's not Einstein. Is it Kaler? No. Alfred North Whitehead. All right. German chemist and Nobel laureate. It's not Hindenburg. It's not Mendel. Is it Alder? No, I clicked the wrong one, so it must be Alder. Hey, look at that. Click the stairs to continue the quest. I, I, I think I can kick it at level three. Okay, onward. French physicist and Nobel laureate who were wife and husband to... Together. Oh, Curie. That's easy. Okay, what's the map look like? I have to go this way. Site of pre Incan ruins in Bolivia, northeast of Lake Titicaca, near the modern village of Tiwa Tiwanaku. Not Pompeii, not Acadia. It's Tiwanaku, I think. I pronounced that wrong. American jazz clarinetist and orchestra leader known for his technical virtuosity. Not Sachimo, not... Oh, wait, maybe it's Vinnie Goodman? It is Vinnie Goodman. Yeah, yeah, he does play, or he did play clarinet, huh? Oh, I just answered this. The one I mispronounced. Oh, I forgot the map immediately. Gotta go up, over, up, over. Oh, there's only one way to go now. Italian philosopher, historian, and political leader. Oh, man. I, I don't think it's Mussolini. I'm gonna go with that. Is it Hegel? No, I, I think Hegel... Oh, Hegel's German. All right, that... Sure. Let's go with that. That works. 
state in northeastern Australia, bounded to the north by the Gulf. I know nothing about geography. It's not that or that. It's got to be Queensland. Yeah, process of elimination is good enough. American professional baseball player. Dean Dizzy, I like that name. And it's right. All right, Dean Dizzy played baseball. I can learn that and remember that. Israeli politician and Nobel laureate. Um, uh, no. Oh, that they're not Israeli, are they? Oh, Yitzhak Rabin. I just listened to an audio book on the history of Israel and Palestine. I, I should have been able to remember that one. Oh man, this is really showing my lack of study and preparation. Infectious disease observed originally in horses and subsequently in humans and other mammals. That has equine in the name. Equine encephalitis, sure. Mineral composed of calcium fluoride, the principal fluoride bearing mineral. Well, it sounds like calcium fluoride or fluorite. Then down. Norwegian mathematician was the first to demonstrate conclusively the impossibility of solving the elementary process of algebra general equations. Okay. That's not Stokes, not Ptolemy. Okay, so it is Abel. American linguist, educator, and political activist educated at the University of Pennsylvania. That's Noam Chomsky, right? Yeah. I know that one. I know Noam. Not personally. American playwright and two-time Pulitzer Prize winner who works are largely set in American South. Virginia Woolf? No. Oh, please tell me it's not Tennessee Williams. It is Tennessee Williams. That has to be a pen name. I Would anyone name their child Tennessee Williams? All right. It's been two levels since I've gotten a ribbon. Man, that has to be based off point progression then. All right. So when I get to the fork, I go north. All right. Someone help me remember. When I get to the fork, I got to go north. Province in eastern South Africa located on the Indian Ocean. Madagascar. No. The Gambia. Natal. Is it Gambia? No. Kosovo, Natal. Ugh. All right. American photographer noted for his photographs of the American Civil War. I don't know this one either. It's not Livingston, I presume. It's not. It might be Robert Kappa. No. Matthew B. Brady. All right. That. That's not earned, but I'll take it. City in southern France, capital of. Oh, I'm going to butcher this. Boche du Rhone, Department of the Gulf of Lyons. Oh, is it Lyon? Orleans? No. Marseille. All right. Common name for insects, which include grape phalara of American origin. Phylorexra? Phyloxera? Phylloxera? English jurist, who is considered one of the most eminent jurists in all English history. It's not William Burns, I don't think. That's an author. And they're not a sir. 
No, they are a sir. They're the other, the only other sir on the list. All right. Through the next doorway. The controversy involving the French army officer, that, that's just the Dreyfus affair. It's handy when the answer has a word from the question in it, but definitely feels like I, I didn't, don't earn those. American photographer best known for her pioneering documentary photography. I should know this. Um, is it Dorothea Lang? That sounds familiar. It is. I do know this. Common name for the small family of flowering plants important for the nuts and timber they produce. Small family of nuts and timber, walnut. Okay. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do at the fork. Go north? That sounds right. Go north at the fork. I don't need a torch. Former professional theater, one of the earliest and most influential in Europe, originating in northern Italy in the 1550s. Did it say, yeah, Italy, that's dell'arte? It is dell'arte. Look at that. Pseudonym of Solomon Rabonikowitz. Yiddish short story writer, dramatist, and humorist. Oh, man. That looks like a pseudonym. And it is. American educator who urged blacks to attend to uplift themselves through educational attainment and economic advancement. Is it Booker T. Washington? It is, all right, North. Stage in motion picture producer, born in Vienna, Austria, is an American. I think it's Otto. Nice. I gotta go this way, right? Institution of higher education known, founded as the College of Bytown. What in the world? It's not the Smithsonian. Um, University of Ottawa. All right. And a family of French origin. House of Bourbon. German propagandist and politician born in right. Heinrich Himmler? No. Goebbels. Sweet. Onward. English breed of dog established in the 19th century for hunting purposes. Oh, these dog ones are so generic. Is it a Maltese? It has to be a terrier. Maltese are French? I'm not qualified to answer that. That sounds right in my head, but it's probably not. Ooh, who's the greatest catcher in baseball? Mm. Lefty? No. Ted. Mickey Cochran, of course. How could I forget Mickey Cochran? All right, mountain range, France and Switzerland, Alps. No. The Pyrenees? The Jura? I have legitimately never heard of that mountain range. I also know nothing about mountains. Softened freshwater fish of the minnow family. Chub. No, it's not Chub. That is funny, though. Dace? Goldfish? A goldfish is in the same family as the minnow? All right, I, I guess I learned something new today. Six chemical elements in group one or one A of the table. It's not glucose or osmosis, it's alkali metals. 
Those were some really abysmal other choices. Thank goodness. American baseball player considered one of the... Oh, I know this. It's it's good old Mickey Cochran. How could you forget Mickey Cochran is one of the best catchers in American baseball? And, and just like that, I'm learning about baseball through Encarta, the wonder of the computer. Free association of New Zealand, two widely scattered islands. Is it the Cook Islands? No, it's Papua New Guinea. No, it, it's the Cook Islands. Yes. Papua New Guinea is only one island, isn't it? City, northwestern Italy, capital of Turin. Turin? It could only be Turin if you're talking about Turin. Oh, and I don't get another medal. When do I get another medal? Oh, now I get a new award. And it's a ring. A ruby and sapphire ring. So beautiful. All right, let's see the map. Eh, just go. Oh, wait, no, that, that'll that be a dead end. I have to go up and then at the T, go right. Dionysus. What? What? How is that a question? Hyperion? No. Oh, of course. Bacchus. What? That, that that wasn't a question. That okay, maybe that's a bug. American abolitionist, orator, and writer who escaped slavery and urged other blacks to do likewise. Frederick Frederick Douglass. There we go. English actor born in Chittleham. It's a sir. It has to be a sir, right? North. American boxer. I don't think it's the 8th Marquis of Queensbury. Is it Sugar Ray Robinson? No. I know that's a boxer. Jim Thorpe. No. Willard? Who's Jim Thorpe? That sounds vaguely familiar. Okay, right at the fork. A series of 15 radioactive elements in the periodic table of atomic numbers 8, 9 through 13. That's the actinides. I passed a whole year of university chemistry. I, I know my periodic table kind of. Superficially. All right, one of the pilgrim leaders and American colonial governor born in Ostfield, Yorkshire, England. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, no. Uh, Franklin Pierce? No. Oh, William Bradford. I have no idea who that is. Okay, Renaissance sculptor, generally considered one of the greatest sculptors of all time. Michael, no, that's not Michelangelo. Donatello, like the turtle. All right, this way. Thomas Wright Walter, American musician and highly influential pianist and the composer of many jazz classics. That's not a question, that's an answer. Is there a bug? How is that? How is that an answer? <laughs> All right. It says here that YouTube's not receiving enough video. Oh, no. Um, it says it's stream and it says it's healthy. Good job, YouTube. Doing work. All right, back to the game. I need to go up. Yeah. 
infectious disease observed originally in hor- Oh, that's equine is something. I know that one. So that that's the other weird thing with mind mazes. After a while, the questions start to repeat. So I think it's programmed to bring up questions you miss, but I can't tell if it is actually programmed to do that or if it just has so few questions that they come up again. Exiled House of Stewarts. It's not Covenanters or Jacobites. Siliores? No. Ja it is Jacobites? Oh, I'm Jacobin. I read that as Jacobin in my head. That's not an excuse. In economics, official act reducing the rate at which one currency is exchanged. Devaluation? All right. Am I going the right way? I am. Professional name of Charles Eduardo Generet, Switch, Swiss French architect, painter, and writer who had a major effort on the development of modern architecture. I have no idea. Okay. I will not retain that very well. Breed of working dog, ancient Siberia. Sarayid? Russian composer and chemist, one of the first Russian composers to gain an international reputation. Is it that one, Turgenev? No. All right, I, I don't recognize any of those names, so that one was 25%. Common name for plant family, figwort, and its representative genus, and the fruit of the olive tree. Oh, that, that was just an olive. Why did they have that last part? That made it so much easier. American stage and film actor who became a leading Hollywood character actor during the 30s and 40s. I don't think it's Sir Tree. Lionel Barrymore? Cool. In Chinese history, popular uprising against the imperial government of the Manchu. Uh, that's not the Boxer Rebellion. That was against the British. It's not that. Typing? Okay, now down. Designation of officially applied in 1807 to the Code of French Civil Law, originally enacted in 1804 as the Civil de Francis. It's not the Code of Hammurabi. Is it Code Napoleon? All right. German-American architect and educator who founded the Bauhaus. Oh man, I really don't know this one. Oos? It's a cool name. Walter Adolf. Yeah, I just have no idea. Sometimes Erroneously called Inigo Lopez de Vilcaz, Spanish. All right. Spanish Jesuit. Um, I don't think it's St. Paul. Is it that one? Okay, St. Ignatius, and we get double sword man again. Oh, an American professional football player voted the most valuable player in the NFL in 1959, 64, and 67. That can only be one person. I have no idea who it is. Is it Johnny Unitas? It, okay. Sure. I've heard that name before, I guess. 
that's who it is. Self-governing island group. Oh, I know this one. It's the Cook Islands. And, oh no, my way is obstructed. Not. City in central Massachusetts, seat of Worcester County. Worcester. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much variation in these questions. New award, new award. I got a gold trophy. All right, I don't, there's no commas in here, but how close am I? One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, I need 5,000 or so more points. The map here, I just go straight over up. American comedian actor noted for her performance on Saturday Night Live. Oh no, I don't think it's Whoopi Goldberg. Were either of them on SNL as cast members? All right, so they weren't. Okay, North. German philosopher and pessimist. Well. I am somewhat of a pessimist myself. Is it Nietzsche? No. Is it Kant? Okay, it was a name I didn't know. Cataclysmic political and social upheaval. 89 to 99. That's not the French Revolution. That's not the American Civil War. Glorious Revolution? Peasants revolt. The French Revolution was that range. I, I thought it was. The war of eight in the during the war of eighteen twelve was when the first or the fourth coalition defeated Napoleon. So I guess for some reason I thought it happened closer to eighteen twelve. Okay. All right. Kind of showing that I don't know much about history. <laughs> Movement within the Roman Catholic Church in the ninth or sixteenth and seventeenth century. Opposed Protestant. Oh, the Counter Reformation. I'm assuming. North. State Theater of Israel. Yeah. This way. American painter who lived and worked in France as an important member of the Impressionist group. All right. No idea. Sontag. No. Toussaint. Cassat. American jockey, one of the top money-winning jockeys in the history of thoroughbred racing. Sea biscuit. Well, if it's American, it's not a sir. Eddie Arcaro sounds like a very jockey name. And it is a jockey name. American baseball player who starred in the American League in 1907 with the Boston Red Sox, one of the finest outfielders and hitters in baseball history. Um, Jack Johnson. No. Pete Rozelle. Oh, of course it's Tris Speaker. Anyone know that? Okay. Federation of City States of Ancient Greece, whose main purpose at the time was preparing prepare against a possible renewal of aggression from Persia. Not Black Dragon Society, not Boule. Delian League? Yeah. Next. Institution of Higher Education and the leading research institution in Scotland. University of Edinburgh. Scottish doctor and missionary considered one of the most important explorers of Africa. Livington, I presume? I presume correct. 
click the stairs to continue your quest. Uh, no, no new award. Okay, this one I could, no, I won't get lost in North at the Fork. North at the Fork. Irish novelist and poet whose psychological perceptions and innovative literacy technique has demonstrated in the epic novel Ulysses. That was Joyce. YouTube saying there's not enough video to maintain a smooth stream. That'll disappear. Let's continue on. Belgian billiard master. What? Who was the best billiard master? I have no clue. All right, OBS says I'm back in the green. Man, I don't get why YouTube sometimes just wants to be a problem. We're just going to keep going. If it gets bad, it gets bad. It's not like this is really important information I'm conveying. Swiss psychologist best known for his pioneering work on development on the intelligence in children. That's not Pavlov. Skinner's an American. Paget? All right. Oh man, this is our first encounter of the laughing dude. A horrible quandary we're in. This curse is as nasty as sin. Without a doubt, we can't get out. It's... If this riddling came, you can't win. Oh, man. All right. Japanese professional baseball player known for his world lifetime record. I know nothing about Japanese baseball or normal baseball. Well, not normal baseball, American baseball. All right. That works. Okay, now I have to go this way. Greek historian known as the father of history. That's Herodotus, also known as the father of lies. River of Pennsylvania and New York. Valgany? North. Common name for a family of flowering plants. Trees of genius it represents. Figwort. I know that one. No. Apparently I don't know that one. Laurel? Ebony. American water spaniel. Irish water spaniel. Water spaniel? Okay. That... Sure. Is that a question? I don't think so. Common name for the seeds or grains of a genus of plants and for the plants themselves. Is it oats? Okay. German scientist, Nobel laureate, who founded modern medicinal medical bacteriology oh man I have no idea it's not Robert Koch I know that it's not I don't think it's Cohn is it Wasserman Robert Koch I thought he was one of the Koch brothers Pseudonym of Mary Henry Vial, French novelist and essayist who ranks among the greatest masters of French analytical novel. I have no idea. Stendhal. English theologian, evangelical, yeah, founder of Methodism. I also have no idea.
11th President of the United States, under whose leadership the country fought a victorious war with Mexico and greatly increased territory by annexing Texas. That happens after the Civil War. Is it Grant? No. I don't think it's Polk. It's not Monroe. Is it Buchanan? It was Polk. Leading Arab astronomer and mathematician of his time. It's not Hippocrates. Is it that one? Okay. North. Followers of the single most important heresy within the Christian church during the Middle Ages. That has to be the Anabaptists. No? That one? I have no idea what that is. I should, I should have educated myself instead. In physical geography, peninsula in northern Europe extending northward from the Elder River, or Eider River, bounded on the north by uh, Jutland. Did not know that one. Native American tribe with the Athabascan language family and the southwestern cultural area. Southwest Navajo. North. A writ or order issued by a court to persons having custody of another commanding him or her to produce the detained person. Is it this Latin word? It is not. It's habeas corpus? I thought that was how they had to tell you what you did. Or why you're under... Anyway. City, central Iran, capital of Esfaha, province of northern bank of... Zande Rud. Twenty five percent chance on that one. All right, next one. Twentieth century philosophical movement dominant in Great Britain and the United States since World War Two. Names to clarify language and analyze. Is it analytic and linguistic? Yeah, linguistic philosophy that that had the two keywords. No, I, am I on the right way? Yeah. Oh man, this really twists around. Athenian orator and teacher whose writings on the politics and education in fourth century BC Greece are of great historic value. Maybe. I have no idea. I Socrates. I have no idea who that is. Common name for a plant family and for plants of the family's typical genus. Yarrow. Asaphodel. Milkweed. No. I can't get any of these questions right now. American actor and theater manager best known for his portrayal of the lead role in William Shakespeare's Hamlet. American uh, James Earl Jones Booth Okay American jazz pianist and composer John Field No Bud Powell I'm knowing I know fewer and fewer of these. Chemical name H2CCHOO minus, which occurs in acrylic acid. It has to be acrylic. 
42nd president. Not Al Gore. Not that. It's Gerald Ford. That What? Oh, vice president. Who's Mondale? Who's Walter F. Mondale? Oh, I guess he's the 42nd vice president of the United States, but... What? I, I guess I don't know my vice presidential history very well. All right, next one. Native American tribe of the Catoan language family of the Plains area. area. Pawnee. All right, onward. American baseball player born in Niceville, Indiana. I have no idea. Is it Three Finger Brown? I like that name. It is Three Finger Brown. Well, maybe I should get into more old time baseball. All these names sound delightful. English poet noted for libertarian themes and stylistic virtuosity. C. Live S. Lewis? I, I don't think it's that. Is it? No. Uh, no, Elliot George. No. Swinburne. American composers, composer who its technical innovation and freedom of imagination anticipated much 20th century music and inspired younger musicians. I, I don't think it's Pete Seeger. Is it Ives? Like Johnny Ives? I wonder if they're of relations. One of the three major components of the United States Department of Defense was created by National Security Act of 1947 to succeed the Department of War, which had been established in 1987. Army Department? Okay. Man, I gotta see if I can figure out this YouTube thing. Where are my settings? Can I adjust my bit rate? Um. Yeah, I can. Oh, wait. I have no idea what a good video bit rate is. Oh, no. All right. Doing this live. Let's go to 18. Okay. Let's see if that makes YouTube cooperate. All right. Let's... Travel onward. Oh, now it's back. This way. The first important Christian ecclesiastical writer in Latin whose work is remarkable for its blunt sarcasm, epigrammatic phrasing, aggressive partisan spirit, and skillful thought, sometimes spacious Specious reasoning? These are so many words I can't pronounce very well, and that makes me feel insecure. Um, that one? No. That one? No. Okay. Let's try this again. Institution of Higher Learning in Baltimore, Maryland. Princeton, no. John Hopkins, yes. All right, up. In the Old Testament, younger son of Joseph. It's not Abraham or David. Is it Ephraim? Ephraim? Called the citizen king. King of France. A 
pulse out Napoleon. We went over that. Is it Napoleon one? No. It's not Robespierre. Is it Louis Philippe? It is. I know something about the French Revolution, not much. Island of Eastern Indonesia, one of the larger islands of the Malay Archipelago. Is it Borneo? Apparently whatever I did, YouTube does not like. So let's change it. Maybe YouTube just doesn't want to cooperate with OBS tonight, which would also be fine. All right, let's go down. Group of about 1,100 islands located in the Pacific Ocean. Oh, that's the Aleutians. Wait, what? Alexander? Okay. Geology professor, paleontologist, philosopher of science, and author of books on evolution and the fallacies of biological determinism. Jay Gould, all right. Next level. Hey, congratulations, I won the game. I've never done this before. Congratulations, Traveler. You have completed the task for which you were summoned. The curse has been broken. We have you and your wealth of knowledge to thank. Rest in this place for a moment, if you like, and then make your way to the throne room where the king has gathered his subjects for you. This is exciting. I've, I've never won before. You enter a throne room filled with people. The king and queen are in their thrones. Their other castle denizens stand in groups of three and four, talking, drinking, and laughing. When the king notices you, he clears his throat, silences the room. Your attention, good friends, our rescuer is here. Stage one from another, strange one from another time. We must thank you for breaking the curse and saving our castle. We know that you are anxious to return home and scores and the sorceress is prepared to perform the necessary magic, but we hope you will honor us by first attending a banquet to be held in your honor this evening. Rather soon, actually. Many of us are very hungry. It's interesting that they don't just have a picture. Anyway, you enjoy the fine banquet that follows and are prepared to be set back home by the sorceress. However, on the way to her chambers, the court alchemist stops you in the way. I am so glad I found you, he says. The king did not reward you sufficiently. In my opinion, and I intend to make up for his oversight, this is awful kerning, I have perfected the formula for changing lead into gold, and when I am finished, I will give you bags of it to take home with you. Just stay around for a few more days, a week at the most. No, more than a month, definitely. A year at the absolute most, and I'm certain I'll have it. He wanders off lost in thought, and you hurry to the sorceress to be sent home at last. You know... I'm excited that I finally won the game. That was a little anticlimactic that they didn't have an image. Now I'm curious if I go back. Yeah, it doesn't take me back to the entry or back to the winning zone. Anyway, well, I have the trophy and I've now won Mind Maze. So I guess that does it for the stream. Thanks for joining me on my weird adventure through Encarta. If you like this content, I don't really produce anything else like this. This is just kind of me messing around on a Thursday night. But if you're interested in the history of computing, then I host a podcast called Advent of Computing. I have it basically anywhere you listen to podcasts. There's transcodes of it on my YouTube channel here. There's no video component um, because it's an audio podcast. It just automatically gets transcoded to videos to be uploaded. Um, so I'd recommend instead listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or 
anywhere you listen to podcasts. But until then, thanks for joining me. And if you want to check out Encarta, you can find software for it online. It doesn't run on new installs of Windows. I seem to remember being able to get it to work on XP at the latest, but you can experiment and find out. I highly recommend checking out Mind Maze. It's fun. You can beat it 